Now before we start the video, make sure you watch my previous video on how to use CREF or character reference. You can also find the video at the top of the right side of your screen because I use CREF here heavily. Hello fellow creatives, thank you for tuning in. This is an update on how to create improved storyboarding using Midjourney's AI. A fun and effective way to create storyboards using your own sketches. That's right, even if they're simple, Midjourney refines your images. Right now I'm finishing up a small sketch of two friends sitting in a diner booth. I kept the drawing minimal because I wanted to see how far Midjourney can take it. Now here's my prompt. Feel free to pause the video so you can check it out in full detail. Of course, you can also tweak it or create your own to suit your own vision. Once your sketch is ready, upload it to Midjourney. Be sure to use the character reference or the CREF feature to guide the process. Then simply hit enter. Now to edit an image, make sure you click on the image you want to work with. Let's say this one. And then you click on editor. And then you open in full editor. Which gives you more control to work with. Now here's my result. It really brought my idea to life. And you can also use the image option instead of the character reference for great results too. Now another cool feature of Midjourney is its ability to refine characters you already have in mind. If you've got an idea for a character's look, you can upload a reference image. You can even take a picture of yourself or your friends. Now for me, I like to create characters in Midjourney or whatever AI tool is at your disposal. Just like I'm doing here. Now for the bearded man, I'm going to use this image. And for his friend, I'll use this image. So I'm going to go to the erase tool in the editor, highlight his face, and then I use the character image reference that I like, and then just press enter and just wait for the results. And also, if you want to move the character's hand, you can use the erase tool like I'm doing here. And I want my character to point. So I'm going to type, he points with his index finger. You can also manipulate the image any way you wish using the erase tool. Now this is an old storyboard that I did somewhere in the early 2000s, but it's from a script that I wrote a long time ago. Here's my rough pen sketch, skeletal zombie figure, and it burst through the window. And then I, I put it into Midjourney, and this was when it was in version 6, as you can see right there. Let's see how this looks like. And the prompt I used was a professional movie storyboard, genre, horror, you know, version 6, still the same prompt, image weight number 2. So it Definitely helps if you put image weight number two. And it only goes from zero to two. So you can't go higher than two. And image weight just means that it's incorporating more of the image in your prompt. This image is a lot closer because I used image weight, as you can see right there. And it added a finger right there. I guess a director is pointing at the sketch, uh, storyboard that he wants, I guess. It's a lot closer. Nah, I didn't put zombie or anything. And this is a stylized weight 500. Ah, now here, this one looks a lot more closer to my original drawing. On a piece of paper. Yeah. It even put the binder on there. That's kind of funny. Yeah, these look closer to my drawing. Can't even tell. I'd probably say that this is... My original drawing. I'd be confused with that. But remember, I drew this a long time ago. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to use character references of your own sketches to create the storyboards or the comic books that you want. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, share it, and, you know, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Well, this is Art saying goodbye, and don't forget to muse it or lose it. Go down to the crossroad. Crossroad. If you wanna play better, that's the secret of play. Go down to the crossroad and tell me what you saw. Oh, that's what he told me.